Hey guys, I'm Rose Vane, and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Uh, where we last left off was that we were still in the painting world with the mission where we had to retrieve Ogird's purple rose pretty much for his, uh, from his dead wife, or his dead ex-wife, I would say. Um, but yeah, you, but yeah, we're basically gonna be visiting this little dark corridor hallway thing that we sat, saw in the last episode. So let's do it. Jesus, I just wish I can get out of here now at this point because we spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the hell is going on Ultimately, we've only known the fact that uh, he left her behind and then stuff like that. I also got to keep a warning uh, Because basically I am playing this through GOG again, so it, I hope it doesn't crash again because previously it had crashed like crazy and To a point where I couldn't like I couldn't play with GOG open GOG Galaxy 2.0 So just gonna have to be careful my dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and uh. I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and uh, remember the good times, Old Geard. Uh, there's monsters coming in. I literally just saw a bunch of ghouls with wipe out the candle. Yep, there it is. Great, I can't see anything. Interesting. Okay. This has become sort of like a Silent Hill kind of game so far. <laughs> oh god, it's Ogi. Why is he... Why is his body tormented and destroyed? Man, that is some creepy ass animations. I love whoever made those animations though, but it's like creepy as hell. That's a dangerous one. Ow. Mm. Ah. I can't deal with both at the same time, I think. Oh jeez, I gotta get back. So it's only one at a time, I'm guessing. Gotta heal up a little bit. I love how he just walks towards me. Ah. Oh jeez, okay. I mean, at the same time- oh jeez. At the same time, I gotta heal a little bit. Oh, there goes that one. Ah. I gotta like, I literally have to like slash you hack him. Is this kind of like... I'm eating butter, I just realized that just now. Butter seems to give me a lot, honestly. A lot of health back. Wait, is that it? Okay. Out. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Ah. Oh. Stay down. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Son of a bee, dude. Oh, jeez. Okay, I gotta be careful. I got a weaker sword now at this point. Oh. Stay dead, please. Ah. Gotta be careful though. I'm I'm weak a little bit. Oh. Ah. Uh, no. 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 Ah, son of a bee! Ah! God damn it. Oh, jeez. This is so twisted right now. Oh, there goes that guy. Come on, buddy. 
That's a stench. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh sh son of a bee. I can't see. Ah. Oh, oh, god damn it, dude. Oh. Gotta be careful, though. Oh. 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 Oh, ah, son of a gun. On guard. Oh, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, oh, I got him. I got him. Yes. Jesus. That took a bit of time. Woo, that was a bit tough. I did lose a lot of health for that, though. Yeah, because my sword got weaker, so I couldn't deal enough damage to the guy anymore. Or to the to the Ogier copycats. Can she finally see me? You're not him. Wait, I wanna talk. Not here. Not in this place. Then where to? Oh, to her bedroom. I feel like they just blurred effect the whole place and then added a bit of detail from the artists to make the, the place look like a painting. Yeah, that's. I think that's what it is. It I'm like. sorry. I mistook you for another. Totally fine. For all geared. I thought he'd returned. To me. No, he won't. He definitely won't. Who are won't. you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. No, you're not. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. Damn. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. Oh, God, I... T we we I were there. I lay there for days, staring at it. Until at last it crumbled into dust. As did I soon after. Oh. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look. You buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. What? <laughs> okay. And I... I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken. Interesting. Just like my beautiful rose. Ah. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is old kid? Healthy? Does he fare well? Oh god, I hate that there's, a, there's an option about that. Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. You mean the name? Who is he? And how'd he step into your lives? Yeah, the heck? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. Really? And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Dude. Ogier's gonna die. Yeah, I guess that's the right word. He pretends to be happy, but he isn't. Ogier's doing all right. Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. Yep. And did... 
Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Yep. I think Ogiert's gonna return to her soon, eventually. Oh, the cat's here. And the dog there. Is it more than a memento? Got a feeling the rose is important to you. More than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. Friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Well, I mean, there's no Need choice to be of honest, it. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as oh. might the world you built around you. Oh. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? Sadly so. I don't know. Nobody actually knows, actually. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until there is nothing at all. I can't take the rose? <laughs> what do you mean I can't take the rose? But what- This brings me cur- This makes me super curious. What happens if I don't take the rose? But then this also is what I need to do. I, I like to follow the rules that what I need to do is what I need to do. But then there's got to be a way to end all of this madness because we need to stop Ogierd from being a dumbass. At the same time, you know what? I'm going to risk a say. I'm going to follow the rules and just ask for the rose. I know it's the sad part of the life of like... Or I don't. I mean, it's kind of sad to see her die and wither away because of the fact that this is for her task or a task for Ogierd. I guess Ogier chose this as the last wish because he wants to make sure that he knows what our resolution is. Is to accept who he is and how he would die or how he's going to survive further. But if he doesn't do it, I'm going to die. So I don't think that's really well worth it either. I, I got to do it. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson. As they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. Really? I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. Oh, I see. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. I think it would have led up to the same idea, I think. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Well, I'm forced under this. Glass that can't be broken? So long. Thank you. Thank you for the clue, at least. To know that we can't stand in the glass man's way. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. What do you mean, that no longer matters? It matters nonetheless! I'm sorry, Iris. I had to do this so that Ogier can go rest in peace. Because I think he has lived longer than he needs to be. And he's terrorized enough people and places 
to actually guarantee that we that that uh, society should stand the way it stands. All right, back to the painting, Geralt. Let's go. <sighs> so sad. I I really hate the fact that I really hate the fact that um. Ogier was. He's the madman in the center of it all, but at the same time, should we feel sympathy? I need to fix my sword though soon. Meet Ogier's man at the Alchemy Inn. Iris one over. All right. Well, that was. I think that was not a level up. I don't think. Whatever, whatsoever a man soweth. Ogier von Elric, character entry. <sighs> I don't know. I just, I just feel so sad though. I don't know. Oh yeah, I did power up with a upgrade already. Yeah. Let me see my inventory. Do I have enough? Um... Let me go and. I don't know. I don't want to repair it now. I should probably fast travel and then repair it to wherever the place is, but... I don't know. Not this, but... I already read the book, I don't know. Um, this... I need to figure out what food I have left. Fruit and drink. Food regenerates fatality. Okay. I don't know what else is coming next because there is there seems to be some other stuff. I don't know how I'm going to get... How do I get to eat these particular two <laughs> items? I wonder. At the same time, I'm low on food now, it looks like. Yeah, there's less food in my pockets at this point. So it just auto-fills whatever food I have left in my pocket to give me the food to eat. Okay. I see the world map. Uh... Alrighty, I guess we can go over there and just sell some of our stuff, I guess. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, mark this in the map. I'm a little bit sad, just like, I don't know, should we give sympathy to Ogier? Should we give him remorse or anything? I don't know, it's just hard to tell at this point. Like, so far, th this wasn't a very, this was a very enjoyable main mission for Hearts of Stone, but at the same time, it was very, like, sad and depressing to see that she's been treated that way. Though, she may have mentioned that he wanted her immortality. Um, I don't know who to trust, honestly. I think in the end, it's either one or the other, or both. Pause and read that, obviously. I think some of that is, like, blocked off by my face cam, so I'm sorry about that. Some of that probably got blocked off from my face cam. Over my face cam. Uh, or behind my face cam, sorry. Yeah. Fast travel to there, go to the blacksmith, sell some stuff, uh, repair some stuff. And then we shall move into the next main mission because there's really nothing else to do, honestly. Beyond just exploring the question marks or just literally just continuing doing this quest. Or finding a pickaxe, actually. I still need to buy a pickaxe for the one side quest, which is kind of weird that I have to go find us pickaxe, but maybe I can craft one, right? Can I craft a pickaxe? That's the weird part, is like, I need to figure out how I'm gonna get a pickaxe. I guess I bumped into the guy really hard. Yeah, the blacksmith is over here, I think. There's the bar. A little bit ahead should be the blacksmith and... There it is, the armor smith. Or, uh, armor, armor smith guy. Alright, we gotta get to wherever it is. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Um, I wanna say congrats to... I, I mean, this is a video probably... In, this is the spring season. This is a spring season video. I f totally freaking forgot. But um, this is for, like, January recording. Like, current recording, I guess. So, uh, it's for the current recording of... Greetings again. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm, I'm trying to say. Yep. Yeah. He has 300. Nice. 
That is definitely enough. That is definitely never enough for him, apparently. Okay. Um, but yeah, basically so far, uh, yes, I don't mind it. 56. Jesus, this armor is, like, really weak. 94. 95, that's not bad. Alright, let's go and buy some stuff from him. Or sell some stuff to him. Perfect. Got some gold out of that. Um, is there anything actually that I want? No, he just has a lot of good swords, but he doesn't... He, he's more of an armor smith guy, so it's, like, better just to get whatever again from here. I can equip it. Why not? Let's go. So long. Alright. Let's go and equip this inventory item. 856, Jesus. Greetings again. I kind of don't care much about like what Show the stats are, but I just like care for the fact that uh 307. Oh my god. I bought it for 800. This guy literally ripped me off. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. Okay, well, we got some materials we can sell, I guess. But then again, I don't want to sell any of the crafting materials because eventually I'm going to be using them. Eventually. I'm not saying all of, all of it is going to be used, but eventually I'm going to be using it for... So long. All right. This armor looks ugly, but it does the, the thing I need pretty much with it. Um, sweet. Now I got less to deal with, I guess, for carriage or carrying capacity. All right, but yeah, um, congrats to City Project Red, obviously, for one, dealing with, um, well, not dealing, but, like, negotiating and also, like, simmering down the author, the author of this, of the, uh, the books for this, for the Witcher series, um, for calming them down and, like, letting them pass by with this game and, like, having less problems with that. And on top of that, of course, congrats to the author for, like, winning both an award-winning game, and also a really surprisingly good show of Witcher 3. I know that the series has been out, but on top of that, with the show being a thing from Netflix, everybody who watched the series wants to actually start playing Witcher 3, which is interesting because I didn't think that it would revive the series in a weird way. It revived the uh, video game series. Um, so people are now probably getting onto it because they're like, oh wow, the TV show is actually different from the books if they haven't seen the books first. Or that they've seen like a lot of different things and stuff, and they were like wanting to see more of it, I guess. I mean, overall, I've been playing this game for a while now, so. Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> he downs half the barrel in one draft. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> I heard of that reference somewhere in time. Geralt, over here. Oh, did really? Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. More treats. Thank you. He froze time, basically. Interesting how the Djinn could actually do that. Or the Odim, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why I keep saying Djinn. But the Odim. The, the, the genie dude. He has too much powers, honestly. This guy is Show super off. powerful. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's no. a marvelous plaything. Yes, and it is. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Yes. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Yeah, like I know. spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately... Ghastly things. Who are you really? Who are you really? Gauntero Dim, also known. Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do? Yeah. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. If they mention it more specifically, that is. If it's vague, it's. And get them in trouble, yeah, awfully noble of you. Actually, I'm going to be more sarcastic with this guy That'd a little bit. would be downright noble if you didn't always demand something in return. Yeah. Or the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? 
A djinn is what I thought. Do you really wish to know? Yes. Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. Because we can't- All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. You control time, or is you this the control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? Yeah. What difference does it make? A big one. <laughs> hmm. Let us say time has always fascinated me, so I taught myself how best to use it. To pause it. Time of all things. Geralt, there are four dimensions: length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width. Come now. I mean, I don't know about length, though. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like, I don't know length, width, and height. What the hell does that mean? I know it's like X, Y, and Z coordinates kind of thing, but it's like, I don't know. How, oh, I, I understand time. It's time and space. Space being... Four or three different dimensions of things, and of time as being the fourth dimension, which is interesting, but kind of weird. Kind of weird. All right, let's go. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Yeah. I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Cheerio. We're supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. No. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw Olgir to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, yeah. but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said... And I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Fulfill I don't, your end of it's the been bargain, a while. And I will remove the brand. That's all I want off my face. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. Oh. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? <laughs> I'm quick, real quick. I'm a <laughs> Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my soup? No. Why would I? Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your hmm. friend. The medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. I'm guessing we have a side quest with her, maybe. Folk, did you My see? stands oh, on three. Literally right. drop dead. Good food. <laughs> Alive a moment ago. <laughs> well, I mean, the drunkard deserves sort of what he did for whatever reasons, I guess. But at the same time, I don't think he deserved it in general. Like the 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 drunkard was like not trying to bother me as much, but he did. I don't know. I don't really know. It's really hard to say for sure. All right, let's meet Shawnee. I think Shawnee wanted to talk to us because we kind of did full make her romance. We did romance her, so it makes sense that we kind of switched it up with her, I guess, how, somehow. Shawnee? Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. She's leaving, isn't she? She's actually moving away. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Oh, no. Just... Getting ready to move. I can tell. What? When? When? Where to? Not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... What's up? I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. 
I'm Kedwin Bound. Yeah, why is this Never departure so sudden? Moving. Any intention to either? I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Oh, I see. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Damn, Couldn't dude. Couldn't turn him down. That's pretty fast. Just say no. Uh, perhaps I could have. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. True. Don't go. Why? Why do I say don't go? What's the point of this? I did romance her, but that doesn't mean I give... Coral I don't think that it's good to control her either ways, but... Can't you reconsider and stay? Geralt, what for? The wedding, the time we've spent together, it was nice. But you have your life and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. You know that as well as I do. Yeah, I would agree. Well, you take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. I mean, at the same time, I did try to literally attempt, at least, to tell her, like, to stay, but... I think if I did the opposite, I think she probably would have been good at, like, understanding so, the fact that that's the case. So, anything about Olgird? Well... I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. And who would that be? Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the professor multiple times. Oh. Apparently, Olgird asked the professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Oh, started wow. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. Okay. The professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? Yeah, is he? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. Hmm. The assistant, on the other hand... Insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. Probably the. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic oh. and the occult. Must be a trove of knowledge. Heck yeah. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. All right. I'll Need see to the talk professor. To this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. True. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. <laughs> Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Alrighty. Might as well take the book as I go. Alright, I'm gonna have to end it here for now. Save it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna have to end it here for now. Um, I'm gonna do this here. Excuse me. Um, trying to burp, but I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on, to be honest. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds, and hope you guys have a great, amazing day, well, good night, or whatever watching this. Yeah, to close off the the congratulations to uh, CD Project Red and the author of The Witcher 3, uh, of The Witcher franchise. Sorry, I would say Witcher 3 series for some reason. Um, yeah, just saying, like, congrats to CD Project Red for getting a hundred, um, or a million, I think it was a million? 1 million or something like that uh, concurrent players on Witcher 3 on Steam especially and obviously just like having a really good show a really fantastic show or a great show I haven't seen it yet I'm gonna probably watch it during my school year for the spring semester for like during the time of this recording probably I'll be watching it by then um, but uh, I'll be watching it on Netflix and I'll come back with probably some thoughts and stuff like that and then seeing how uh how things pan out for the particular Witcher series because I heard it was good. It was. It's definitely not the same as Game of Thrones. I have never seen a single episode of Game of Thrones, so I'm probably walking in with a much more understanding knowledge of what Witchers are, but less so than less so about like what kind of format the show is going for. Because I like shows that are like supernatural, like uh, the actual show Supernatural, Sam and Dean kind of thing, and I love the fact that it's kind of like it has like a big overall arc, like a big arc. But with small bits of episodes of like 
um, small bits of like episodes pertaining to like a case study of the character interacting with the world around them, and like that's the kind of thing I really I really enjoy a lot is that they don't have to be super episodic. I think it was called. I think that's the terminology of what is it called? Like episodic, where it has to be linearly linear linearly building up to a big story ending. Instead, it's a big story overall but then there's a big ending there's a big beginning and then there's just tiny bits of it mentioned here and there but not always like fate like in your face kind of thing every episode so obviously it's like that's the kind of thing i like a lot and that kind of format really draws me in a lot so maybe this might do i don't know we'll see i have no clue but i'll watch that in the meantime um but there is one more video left for me to record for witcher 3 so i'm gonna do that ahead of time right now uh after this episode ends and then uh that will be pretty much be it for my run for the the winter break season for recording of this series um there might be an extra episode depending on which game i decide to choose to play but i don't know if it's going to be this one or assassin's creed origins or bully whichever but this is also only pertaining to those who are watching in the spring season of 2020 Obviously, if you're in the summer of 2020 or winter of 2020, it's not going to really matter by then because from that point, I'm I'm either in a job working and recording other things or doing other things and like still having pertaining this format where I usually sit and record. Or it might be a different room and I'll just be having the same equipment that I usually have to just record and such. Who knows? Other than that, that's it for me in this episode. That's it for me for now. And in the next episode, we'll continue into following Shani to the professor. So, Roz, out.